That's evil, folks. That's what you've been taught. Your mama taught you that. Your daddy taught you that. And the world teaches you that, including the church. And they said, oh, Jesus was angry. You know the devil played a game on you. If you believe that. And it's only going to get worse. And for crime, y'all think, and it is, it's bad in New York, San Francisco, Chicago, Detroit. It's bad in L.A. now. And L.A. is such a, like, a beautiful, above the junk now above the homelessness and above the drugs and above the hating. It's a beautiful place. The weather's nice. It's like paradise up there, but not down here anymore. Um, and it's a mess, folks. And I haven't mentioned a crime lately in L.A. I've been busy with other stuff. And we got a stupid female black mayor, and she ain't worth a dime. Zero. She ain't worth the horse she rode in on. I want to give you just a little bit of rundown on the crime in L.A. South Center. Crime in Beverly Hills and back. This is from KTLA, July 17th. July 17th. White History Month now. And they, they committed crime. Who commit crimes during White History Month? Does that make any sense? July 17th. Three suspects allegedly committed armed robbery in Beverly Hills. Two were caught in South Central L.A. The third had his girlfriend pick him up. Come over here picking me up. I'm, I'm committing a crime. Isn't that amazing? This is from ABC7. Robbery suspect live stream chase through L.A. as he flees with baby in the car. Why is this from ABC7? Once, once, once stopped, he assisted the car with the baby in his hand. With the baby in his hands. Watch this. On Slauson Avenue, over the median, desperate to get around these busy intersections. He's going right into oncoming lanes of traffic. A wild and reckless pursuit with a baby on board. The speeding driver fleeing deputies at extreme speeds, putting so many others at risk. Going the wrong way. Oh, no. Look at this. He is, he is gunning it, going the wrong direction on Jefferson Boulevard. Look at all of the traffic there is here. He is having to navigate traffic going in both directions, zigzagging across the median here. The driver also live streaming the pursuit from behind the wheel. I'm not going to kill you all, bro. No, just let us out the car. As a woman who says she's the infant's mother pleads for him to pull over and surrender. Pull over and put your They're going to kill me, cuz. Yeah, yeah, you got to pull over and put your hands up, bro. You black. Oh, my baby is in a car. The driver eventually turning down a dead end street where he tries to back up, but the car is quickly penned in by sheriff's cruisers as several deputies are seen rushing forward with guns drawn, taking aim right at the car. Moments later, the driver opens his door, and that's when we can clearly see the tiny infant in his lap. We'll see here. We'll have a really clear view here in a second. That appears to be a small infant in his arms. The baby appearing to be unharmed after being taken along during this wild and dangerous drive. Amazing. What did they do in L.A.? They defund the police. That's so smart, huh? Camilla Harris, remember her? That female that's running for so-called president. She was for defunding the police, remember? And she also bailed out some of those uh, Black Lives Matter people. 
She was for that too, help with that. And she wanted to be the president of my country. So you saw the guy with the baby running. And Lord have mercy. Instead of the police being the police, a female police officer, mother, motherly instincts kicked in. <laughs> we don't need you to be the mama at, at work as a police lady. We need you to be the police. We don't need, we're sick of mamas. Watch this. That live stream alerting deputies to the fact that there was an infant in the vehicle, and they say that took their pursuit to level 10. Oh, no, I'm not relaxing when you got my baby in the car. They got guns pointed to the car. They about to hit the car, bro. You're not thinking about your baby right now. You're going to get our baby, too. Oh, they- a desperate plea to escape as a suspect live streams a dangerous pursuit with his two month old baby and the child's mother in the back seat. Hey, uh, you got to pull over and put your hands up, bro. My- the video now part of the investigation into the heart pounding pursuit right through the red light around traffic that ended with deputies rescuing a baby girl. My concern was the baby. She was crying and I just wanted to comfort her. My motherly, uh, motherly instincts kicked in. See that? Her motherly instinct kicked in at work. <laughs> Once a mama, always a mama. And you still want women to be police? Her motherly instant kicked in. That baby looked mighty white. Is that a white baby? <laughs> yeah. I don't is, know. Is that a white baby? Hispanic, maybe? Half Hispanic? It must. It ain't black. <laughs> uh, unless it's a light skinned black. It just look like no black baby to me. He might have black, and that baby mighty white. It sounded like a black girl in the car, though. She definitely had that black way of speaking. Uh-huh. She definitely grew up around the blacks, at least. I was, uh... So it could have been a Hispanic or a white girl talking black. Yeah, but I let me out of the car. You can get a baby. Let me out You better let me out of the car. Dave on. Yeah. Um... I was uh, talking to a couple people yesterday, and one of the guys, maybe two of them, but one was a white guy and one was a Jewish guy, and they said that it's hard to find a white girl now. I'm like, why? Because they into the black guys. They love black guys. They into the, everywhere I go. The white girls and the Jewish girls, they, they in tune the black guys. It's amazing. Did you know that? I, I'd i heard things like that, yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> They're pushing that. They want to mama the black guys. But anyway, and so you heard the police say her mama instinct kicked in. She wouldn't think about saw the prize. She was ready to be a mama at work. The police. And it all started with an armed robbery in Beverly Hills. Watch this. It all began when authorities tried to stop a robbery suspect in Exposition Park. He was one of three men being pursued after a robbery in Beverly Hills. They bailed out of their car. Two were arrested. The third investigator say carjacked his child's mother and continued the pursuit, adding in the live stream. It's our baby, bro. You got to stop, bro. Not only is this guy driving like a madman, not only does he have his two-month-old daughter in the car and his, and his uh, child's mother, but he's also taking the time to get on his phone and live stream the whole thing. The suspect weaving in and out of traffic, zigzagging his way across the city. Over the median, desperate to get around these busy intersections. The driver finally trapped by a dead end. Sheriff's deputies surrounding the car, guns drawn, everyone on edge, knowing the infant was in the car and at risk. Oftentimes in situations like these, the bad guys use the baby as a shield. And uh, it's a great moment of cowardice that when you witness it, you kind of it pumps the brakes on everything. As a as a father, you 
you just can't put yourself in that position as a good father. So when you see a father do that to their child, it it oh, strikes a chord Mama in you that uh, that you want to make sure that you do everything in your power to bring this guy to justice. The dangerous driver finally given up, taken into custody, his baby girl rescued unharmed. And that little girl ultimately reunited with her mother who was not arrested. That driver now facing a long list of charges. Amazing. And the mama instinct kicked in. <laughs> what a mess. I remember, and then I'm going to get to your calls and super chats. I remember there was a time when California was California, when L.A. was L.A. You could not go up in Beverly Hill and commit a crime. You could not do that. And, and the so-called leadership, the black leadership, would get upset because the police force was tough in Beverly Hills. And if you just drove through Beverly Hills, they're going to follow you up and down every street you're on. And, and the blacks used to complain about that. They just follow me because I'm black, they said. I remember, I can't remember exactly, so forgive me, some actor or somebody was complaining, oh, I'm suing because I'm black and the police will follow me in Beverly Hills. You could not play that mess in Beverly Hills. Remember that? That's when boys were boys and men were men. Beverly Hill had their own police department at the time, I guess. According to Wikipedia. Beverly Hill Police Department is police de uh, department is separate from LAPD. BHPD is separate from LAPD. To this day. And so, but Beverly Hill used to be tough with their police. You couldn't be up, run up there doing no crimes. Now you can because the police have been defunded. They have been called racist. Uh, some of them have left town because they don't, they're trying to protect their livelihood and their families. And the blacks are going up there and committed crime like 90 going north. The blacks are out of control when it comes to crime in Beverly Hills. And I have more crime to show you from Beverly Hills. And Beverly Hills was so beautiful at one time, really nice, very nice. I have a lot of friends up there. Not a lot of friends, but friends. And it's a mess. In Bev it's so bad in Beverly Hills now. And for those who don't know, Beverly Hills was like the cream of the crop in California. One of the areas. There are other nice way out in the suburbs and stuff like that. But now it's so bad in Beverly Hills that people are afraid in their homes. They want... Uh, they want... Uh, cars to be made with gun gun protected windows where you can't shoot through it because the crime is out of control they have defund in Beverly Hills bulletproof glass thank you bulletproof glass in Beverly Hills they got bars around those beautiful homes up there now the white women are afraid, and the Jewish women are afraid to walk the streets up there now. They can't walk freely like they used to. Some still walk, but they're nervous. And the blacks are going up there and committing crime like crazy. Like somebody said, okay, y'all can go up there now and commit crime. They're like, okay, we don't, we don't have self-control, so we're going to go and commit the crime. Amazing. I want my country back. But it's not coming back. Amazing.